Hey guys, welcome in. If you are new or just passing through my channel, welcome. My name is Tam. I'm also known as the Enlightened Auntie. And if you are returning, welcome back, squad. I'm here today to do another general collective reading. We're not science specific here. We're also gender fluid. I may say you when I'm talking to them. I may say them when I'm talking to you. Put yourself in the story wherever you seem to fit. Remember that time and energy are fluid. So I could be talking about the past, the present, or the future. Take only the parts that resonate and leave everything else behind. All right, guys. Um... <sighs> Mercury retrograde is upon us. This is the fourth time I've started this video. So we're going to get this one out. Okay. Um, collective. I feel like I'm talking about someone here in the current energy who I want to say they normally wear a mask um, behind closed doors. This person is, um, I heard lightness of being. It just gives me somebody who flies by the seat of their pants. Literally. I think when this person is out, they portray themselves as being like a fierce leader. They uh, pretend to be. And I say pretend because I don't feel that this person has matured to the level of presenting themselves as like as being the person that they present themselves to be because what they present is not it's not actually who they are um behind closed doors or when they're away from other people they take the mask off and then they're more like their more childlike self okay i kind of feel like this person may have been the type to Engage in third party energy, but it this is kind of interesting. It almost feels as though I heard many hands make light work. <laughs> many hands make light work. We'll clarify that because I'm not even really sure what that means in this context. Because it kind of gives me the impression I want to say this person may have engaged in third party energy and they may have, and not even just third party energy, they may have just had a lot of people. I think I mentioned this in the last reading, like somebody who was spreading it thin and wide. Like they may have a lot of people involved in their life. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Child, this person spread it wide and thin. Okay. Um, part of the dilemma is they may be upset because, um, I, I don't know if you stopped communicating with this person or if you walked away from this person, um, they may be upset because they can't get to you or they can't, they have no, uh, no way to communicate with you. Like, so I don't know if you changed your number or something, um, or you might have them blocked. You may be at a distance. All of a sudden, my nose started running. I don't have anything over here. Great. So, um, they may be upset because they 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 may be at a distance from you. They may not have the ability to like communicate with you directly. Part of their lesson here has a lot to do with your remove your removal. You removed yourself from the situation because it wasn't emotionally fulfilling. This person never really gave to you. And if their life circumstances took a turn for the worse, that was also part of their karma. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, now they're in regret. <laughs> And they're feeling, yeah, they're, they're, they're in regret. Oh shit. They're in regret. They're heartbroken by the fact that they treated you like an option and that they had you, like I said, they may have had you. It's not even third party energy child. This person was like really spreading it thin and wide. They were, they were out there, but now they're heartbroken because of the choices that they made, the people that they chose to align themselves with. <laughs> And now they're also frustrated because there is a change to their stability 
this person may have also like their earn their income income earning ability may be affected. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wow. Because this person made the choices that they made, I feel like they were trying to do it in, in like they were acting this way in an attempt to kind of control your emotional state. It's really weird. It's really weird. But I think what probably what probably upset them the most is that they had no control over the fact that you they just I don't think that this person ever suspected or expected you to finally just kind of get tired of it and walk away the chariot eight of cups like and they're they're angry <laughs> this person's very very angry they're angry at the fact that you chose to remove yourself I'm sorry they wanted you to be an option and they're mad because you didn't want to be an option Make that make sense. <laughs> mm -hmm. They chose to engage in this energy of keeping secrets and telling lies. And now they're upset because they chose to tell secrets and lies. Wild. You know, it's kind of interesting. I think this person, whoever I'm talking about, th this person was like, I want to say they were like the ultimate player. This person thought they were doing it. Okay. This is like, whoever I'm talking about is the ultimate player. Okay. <laughs> and I say they're ultimate player because now that their life is kind of like on fire and things are upside down, they are really strongly, I don't say reconsidering, but they're really thinking about like where they where they had you fucked up no they're really thinking about like what they chose to align themselves with <sighs> i also feel like this is really interesting i also feel like this person is i want to say they're 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 just now getting to a space where they're like praying to god <laughs> because their life is upside down and they don't really I don't know if they we haven't got quite gotten there yet I can't really tell if they've yeah they, he's recognized this is a masculine energy it does not have to be a man but it could be a woman operating a masculine energy but this is somebody here who's realizing that their hasty decisions and very self-serving decisions created the dynamic that they're in right now and so they're like I said they're kind of reflecting now on kind of the shit show that their life has become and while yeah they're angry I want to say they're more angry at themselves mm -hmm. and it's it's interesting because now that they want to it almost feels as though they recognize why you pulled away because like you didn't want to be in rotation now they want to like give to you or they want to like kind of <laughs> correct things i don't see i don't have healing necessarily out here but it's almost like they want to correct things so now they want to focus their attention on you but now you're guarded you're like eh, well hold on <laughs> i walked away for a reason <laughs> i walked away for a reason i'm not really trying to revisit this um i would also be very cautious because remember in other readings where i've mentioned that the the index card that says their their offer is a distraction because I do see an offer here, but right above the offer is the emperor in the reverse. So it kind of feels as though whatever they may want to come and offer you may actually be a distraction to to like push off some of their negative karma onto you. Right. We're not stepping in to help nobody. But we're also not like, please don't come to me saying, you know, um, 
I would like to make things fair. I would like to now give to you. I would like now to like to give you the energy that, you know, that you had been wanting for me in the beginning. And you're like, yeah, I think that ship has sailed. <laughs> you're like, yeah, how about no? Child. This person, <laughs> this person wants to come towards you with an offer. Oh. I'm laughing because I don't think, I honestly don't think the collective gives a damn. Yeah, no. So I feel as though this person. It's interesting because I feel like they do want to tell you, they want to communicate, want, they want to communicate, they do want to come towards you, they want to offer, you know, they want to offer their cup. See, here's the thing, they're still juggling, they still got things, see, here, this is the problem that I have. Because you can't come saying that you want to offer a, offer your cup or you want to start a new cycle, but you still have things going on in the background that that you don't want the collective to know about. <laughs> mm -mm. And there's still, like I said, there were like eight people on this card. It's the Three of Pentacles. It was eight people on the Three of Pentacles card. Eight. So even if they were to come towards you with this cup, I'm just looking at the way the cards are all connecting. Even if they were to come towards you, they're still hiding something. They're still hiding something. Yeah, so whatever. Okay, so this is... Maybe this person... Okay, now, I'm going to I'm only going to mention this just briefly because I kind of feel like it's relevant cuz this almost feels too like there's this could be somebody who travels who like maybe maybe they travel for work. <laughs> maybe this person, now I am getting here that there's there were lies. So maybe this person may have lied or lied saying that they were traveling for work or they had other things going. That's why they there were eight people in this card. So if this person maybe traveled for work, they may have had Whoever has the most hoes wins. They may have had them all over the place. But down here, there's something coming out and they're not going to be able to continue doing whatever it is that they're doing. Right? Because on this side, something is being, it's it, very, very clear. There's no confusion. I feel like this down here, you collective, like this is not, you're, even if they were to come towards you, like, you know, I want to make things right. Let's kumbaya. You're like very, you know, standoffish. You're very, very guarded. It's because you see this person very clearly. And what I'm seeing, yeah, your problems are not about to be my problems. Yeah, the only reason why I want to come towards you, I want to say, is because you're in a really good space. Like you're, you're in your Ten of Cups or you're moving quickly towards your Ten of Cups and this person is unhappy. <laughs> Because they never actually foresaw you walking away from them and making it like a permanent thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. They never foresaw that. Hold on. They never foresaw that. All right. Let's clarify where we time was. <laughs> oh yeah, that's why I was I was mentioning it, but I, I sailed off. So in the last reading, one of the first cards or one of the first section of cards that came out because I talked about like this person may travel for work. It looked like because there was a work dynamic that showed up in the second reading that I did. <laughs> Um, 
And I saw something that I had normally never see. I've never actually seen it in my cards before. And I actually, I've had somebody comment on it once before saying how uh, maybe Captain Reed may have mentioned it or another. Yeah, maybe Captain Reed may have mentioned it. Um, like there was like something bisexual. Like I saw something. I never normally see this. But what it looked like was somebody may have gotten involved with somebody that they worked with and they were in a relationship like they say they may have been married or something like that um but they got involved in some type of same-sex relationship with somebody that they may have worked with and as a result it was they were concerned about the backlash or some kind of truth being revealed or that coming out and that ruining their reputation and how people viewed them um take that little nugget for what it is <laughs> I don't know if it has anything to do with this specifically but that was something that came out on the board and I was just like I've never actually seen that before <laughs> but I saw it today yeah I feel like somebody here is trying to manifest like if you walked away from the situation somebody's trying to manifest you back <laughs> And they're trying to manifest you back to reestablish the relationship or the connection. They may also be watching. Yeah, that's why they're upset because you may have them blocked. Or they may be unable to travel towards you. <clears throat> so they may be watching you from social media. Or they may be digging into your life and looking looking into what's going on with you or where you are. Okay. Oh, yeah. See, they want to make things right now. They want to make things right. Because, like I said, they may have had you in competition with other people. They may have had you in competition with other people. So, it's almost like... It kind of gives me the sense that they're... And I'm also getting here, too. Like, this is the energy of... They're very, um, I heard insecure and unsure of themselves, but I feel like they're mostly worried about the permanent ending of the situation. I almost feel like they, they want to approach you because they want to try to salvage whatever, you know, whatever they think may still be there. Um, if there is conflict or has been conflict between you, they don't want to fight. Mm -mm. it's almost as if they want to kind of correct like whatever like I said they were over here spreading it wide and thin it almost feels as though they want to try to correct it or they want to try to balance balance things out They want to salvage their relationship. They want to salvage the relationship. <laughs> I heard save face. So maybe they want to salvage their relationship because they're trying to save face. They're trying to protect their reputation. Yeah, so this person is trying to, they're hope, oh, see, they're hoping, mm -mm. okay, here's the thing, whoever this person is, they may have taken too long to come back and correct the situation, they don't like being on the outside, they feel very much at a loss without you, um, and I feel like they're kind of remembering 
almost remembering like how full their life may have been with you present but without you now they're like okay now they noticed like the energy around them is different they don't feel the same and I'm also getting the energy too it's like you're in a space where I get that you're like you're you're stable you're emotionally balanced maybe at one point okay I am also seeing too Ooh, this is a lot this sec the section kind of looks like somebody who may not have recognized or fully recognized your value at the time that you were dealing with them and because they didn't see the value or didn't recognize your value at the time that's the reason why they chose to be the way that they were with you right but they are recalling how loving and generous and kind you were right um and not realizing that 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 loving kind generosity is the thing that they missed so much once you removed yourself from their energy they may have stuck themselves with somebody who may have been very cold towards them somebody who was very superficial and you know needy and um a little on the arrogant side i'm getting um which is wild but again, like I feel like this person may have waited too long to come back in to try to correct things. And now you got your boundaries up, so you're not really, you know, you're not really engaging with or fucking with folks that, you know, may have treated you in the old kind of way in the past. Right? All right. Let's do one more. So they may be very unhappy. Oh, so they may be very unhappy if this person. Oh, yeah. So they may be very unhappy because the truth is coming out about the fact that this person may have been very much. Like I said, they're they're Don Juan. This is somebody who was branded wide and thin. They are very unhappy. They told a lot of lies and told a lot of secrets. And so now they're receiving judgment. They're, they, you know, you made a judgment call to pull away from the, the relationship, regardless of how long you've known them, how much you've invested in it. You wanted more for yourself. And whoever you were dealing with was very in and out. They were, you know, here for a good time, not a long time. So you made your moves accordingly. Yeah, this person is devastated. <sighs> They're devastated by the separation. They do not like being on the outside, but they recognize it. The it's their lies that put them there. Mm -hmm. And they're feeling very hopeless because they don't think that they're ever going to have this chance to get you back, you know, get you back. It's like for you, for them, you are their ten of cups. For you, eh, not so much. You don't, you know, they're looking at you like, you know, you would you would round out their life perfectly. And you're looking back at them like, yeah, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and like I said, they want to approach you to offer a new, here's the thing, because I'm seeing it two ways. Like, yeah, they could be wanting to come towards you to offer you a cup and they're very worried about it. They're stressed and worried that they would be devastated should you reject them. Um, they're worried that they may have taken too long. So they're a little bit hyper freaked out about that. They would like for you to let your guard down. The other flip side of it is that you're not focused on this person you're not thinking about them you are focused on self-love and aligning yourself with only things that mirror back that same energy of love right 
um, the changes that you are experiencing in your life are due to the fact that you've put in the work, you've done the shadow work, you've done the healing work that needed to be done. This person, they still got a long way to go. They still have some things that need to work out. They would like for you to put your guard down. Honestly, you know, I'm going to say, I'm, I'm going to suggest that you don't. Yeah, they want to come towards you, but they were, <laughs> no, they're worried. They're worried. And I want to say in the past, this person may have been very selfish with, with they were selfish with their, um, with their emotions. They didn't really give a whole lot to you. And it always made you feel like you were chasing around trying to give them your love, but they were just giving you crumbs. And so after a while, it may have made you very, you know, you may have learned to just detach from the situation after really reviewing everything that you had experienced, there was no success here in this. Yeah, there was no, no, there was no overcoming the conflict. There was, you couldn't because you were doing this by yourself. So you may have chosen yourself. Mm -hmm. Look at that. You bossed up. And this person is just kind of stuck, stuck sitting in the energy of their third party shenanigans and you're you're literally leaving them through the glare the ten of swords can you see that <laughs> you're like walking away and you're leaving them there with all of the bones from their closet and you're gonna just you're just gone and it's not even like i don't get the i don't get the energy of like anger there's no anger there you're not mad you're not you're just like you're indifferent. That's the word I'm looking for. You're indifferent. You're not even tripping off of them anymore. You're not tripping off of them at all. That's crazy. They're looking at this whole thing from a different point of view. They're looking at you in a whole different kind of light based on the way that they first view you, based on the way that they first perceived you and who you were, who you are. They're looking at you in a whole different way. And they may want to come towards you. They may, like I said, they could be at a distance. They may be mad because they don't have the ability to actually come towards you. Um... They may also be kind of stuck where they are um, because they don't know how to get themselves out of the mess that they're in right now. Yeah. Things aren't lining up. Yeah. Serendipity in the reverse, mending in the reverse. Things are not lining up and there's no energy here that supports uh, a reconciliation and they just have to accept it. And they're really being faced with the, the, it's kind of like they're being faced with having to really reflect on the intentions behind whatever it was they were doing. They're at the seat of their shadow work. They're, I think somebody is getting ready to go through dark night of the soul. I think I said in the last couple of readings, I'm like, there's somebody here who may be trying to really avoid doing the shadow work or avoid going through that dark night of the soul. So they're resisting it. The more you resist it, the harder it's going to be. Yeah, part of their lesson here was for them to just to, for them to stop doing what it was that they were doing, like all the people that they've been aligning themselves with and all the people that they it's kind of like they they chose to surround themselves with all of these people or engage in all of these like side relationships or whatever. It's to fill a void like this person comes across as somebody who has like a void. There's a void within them. And it's largely because they do not have self-love. They don't have love of self. So they're kind of, yeah, they're spreading it wide and thin because they don't have love. Because if you loved yourself, I say this all the time, if you love yourself, you love yourself first, you're not, you're you're not going to allow people to just treat you any kind of way when you love yourself. When you don't love yourself and your self-esteem is like, you know, in the bucket, 
you allow people to do whatever because you kind of feel like you deserve it or you don't really feel like you you don't feel capable of deserving better and more right um that's kind of what i see here you got somebody who gets themselves involved with people only to they it, those people fill a void for this person because they do not have self-love so they couldn't really love you and value you for who you are because they didn't see the value in themselves they got a lot of inner healing to do all right i'm not gonna make this a really long one Negative vibes, energy, or black magic. Somebody is misogynistic. Up to four other people involved. Secretive and deceptive. Fake nice. Somebody is being two-faced. Somebody might be trying to compromise your third eye. <clears throat> Spirit says release burdens that are not yours. Somebody purposely misled you to keep you confused. Someone is hiding the truth. All is not what it seems. Someone is self-absorbed and possessive. Children are involved. Yours or theirs. Everything is backfiring. Someone is stuck in a mindset. The month of December may be of significance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn. A real estate investment may be um, prominent here. I have karmic debt out here. You have a new love cycle or a person uh, coming into your energy. Um, someone from your past. Your ancestors are protecting you. Your ancestors may be protecting you from someone from your past. Something is a blessing in disguise. Forgery or falsification of records. <laughs> Someone tries to convince people that you're crazy. A Virgo may be significant. Someone says, I've always hated you because you're blessed. Someone is throwing rocks and hiding their hands. There may be infighting with these four other people that are involved. There's distraction magic here. Someone is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Someone is not taking responsibility. And finally, someone exhibits racist behavior at the bottom of the deck. I have stepchild, you are the competition, you accept them for who they are, it is what it is, and someone is acting like a victim. Hmm. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. If any parts of this reading resonated for you, gave you clarity or confirmation over your own situation, remember we've got a Sagittarius, Capricorn, and a Virgo. We've got children. I had a, a what was it, a step something stepchild um wolf in sheep's clothing somebody who's racist somebody who's fake nice a real estate investment is significant forgery and falsification of records is significant people not taking responsibility and hiding the truth It'll all come out in the wash. No worries. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Um, again, if any parts of this resonated for you or gave you clarity or confirmation, give the video a thumbs up so we can circulate into the algorithm. If you'd like to book a personal, more aligned with your own story, um, all of my information is below in the description box. Um, and my books are always open. Thank you so much for all the likes, share, subscribes, tips, donations, and super thanks. Don't forget um, that I will be kicking off the extended reading starting in january um if you want to get in on those the membership platform is 5.99 a month um but i'm going to start doing that in january all right so get in where you fit in for the live readings tomorrow is the last day for the special that it ends at the end of november so if you want to get in on it um you still have time to um, purchase your spot Anything else? No, that's it. All right, guys. I love you. Until next time. Take care.